welcome back stay we are here with another stray kids music video in my first ever experience with stray kids the chick chick boom music video i had a lot of fun breaking that video down and dissecting all the little details and i'm looking forward to doing it again right here with mountains so i thank you for being here i do appreciate all the love and support that you guys showed me in the comments on the last video so much love to you and i hope that you stay a while hit by lightning oh my god this video is gonna be electric i can already tell there's so many cool things that just happened in this one sequence and we're gonna break them all down let's take it from the top boys Right here, Felix is creating a bunch of laws. When you start bathing, you get an important call. When you line up, the other line is always faster. Now that's true. I've had that happen to me so many times. But this bottom one, July 19th, 2024, Stray Kids songs play on the street. I noticed at the beginning of the video, it did have the date marked in the bottom corner that said July 18th. So this law is stating that after this releases, everybody's playing it. And I'm playing it right now. But I have another law that I can add to this list. And that law is, I will pause this video again. It's going to happen. You got to obey the law. <laughs> oh, here it comes. What a shock. They just electrocuted my man. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So a lot of cool things happen very fast here in Felix's portion. Okay, he, he looked at me. We made eye contact. Why are you looking at me like that? Anyways, <laughs> um, Felix is essentially a god right here because he is creating the rain with this watering can he has over this miniature city. And he creates the lightning strike as well. But if we notice, there is a storm approaching and we see lightning in these clouds. And then in the background on this screen, there is more lightning strikes so it sets up a perfect transition because it caters to what is about to commence and that is the lightning strike but they also do some very cool but subtle things with the audio it drops out in this portion here and it has this calm effect and that is the calm before the storm so we hear this thunderous roar when the lightning strike comes down Listen for it. Oh, this video is so awesome already. Oh my god. Okay. We gotta run this back. There's a lot of cool things happening. The sign here says Olympus. 
And when I think of Olympus, I think of Mount Olympus in Greek mythology, Greek mythology being one of my favorite subjects to study. But also, Mount Olympus, the song is called Mountains. That would make sense why Felix is a god in this essence, because he creates a lightning strike. He is Zeus. Felix is the Greek god, Zeus. <laughs> oh my god. Just when I thought I couldn't like these guys anymore already, they go and toss in Greek mythology. Oh, come on. God, that was gorgeous. Mm, mm. This, this is fire. No pun intended because there is literally flames. But when he creates this sequence, Felix is driving a miniature monster truck with flaming wheels and he creates a swiping motion to the right so what does that do it carries our perspective along with these flames that engulf the screen and it carries it to the right and out of the inferno here we enter the next scene and the monster truck is actually right here in the background. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my God. Look at how cool that this like fire force it is. Oh, come on. You know, this these set pieces here and how big Felix is in comparison. It reminds me of the classic style Godzilla movies, the old films. They were used with the technique of suitmation where there would be a man in a Godzilla suit stomping around a miniature city. And that is essentially what Felix is doing right now. He's creating all of these little sequences, but he's ginormous in comparison. It kind of makes me nostalgic about my childhood because I used to drive around with little Hot Wheels. N literally Hot Wheels. But little Hot Wheels cars, and I would make all the noises and the explosions. And I was controlling a miniature city. I was creating these sequences. And now I'm seeing them brought to life in this video, and it's so cool. And then, you know, it's like when you have action figures. Like, I had Venom and Batman battling each other, and I was creating these sequences with my imagination. And... Now I get to see it displayed in a music video and it just brings everything to life for me. Ah, awesome. God, the way they're throwing in that roof, roof in the audio. Oh, oh, that flare. It gets me pumped up. Like, I, I, mm. It's awesome. It's the same sound they made with that thunderous strike that. <laughs> How many people got thirsty after seeing him take this drink? He has a Kool-Aid burst, which I love. But how, how many of you are thirsty? Just looking at that. What? Oh, they zoomed in on the chest pieces, this lower down perspective. Come on, we have a chessboard now. We went from the miniature city playset and we enter in this chessboard, but the pieces are the skyscrapers, these structures, and he topples one over. And I really like the message that they are giving out here as this sequence is happening. The building falls right on top of our POV and they slow it down and we see the crumbles happening. These V effects are so good, but triumphant unbreakable is my pride now so nothing can stop them they are ready to be triumphant and achieve greatness and nothing is going to break their pride nothing can get in the way of that and i love that <laughs> 
But he also said about the pal. Yes, right here. Keep the posture low and powerful. I'm going to go up. So when I hear that, I, th I think in terms of football. So they have the offensive and defensive line. And when they clash, there's the term used, the lowest man in football wins. So the low man wins. And that is because if you keep your posture low and you are more grounded than the person you are colliding with, you have more leverage, which means you have more power. So you got to lift them up. I'm going to go up and I'm going to lift them and throw the enemies. It's so good. So good. Wow, ooh, I like that message. Oh, that made me think of Attack on Titan. Because they're walking like the Titans, and then all they're as they're stomping around, they're vibrating the air. It's echoing. And it makes me think of the rumbling from Attack on Titan. Anything that was in the way of those Titans, nothing could stop them. And you knew it was coming. You heard the rumbling commence. And they're ready to just trample the competition. Awesome. So walk up on the mountains. Ain't nobody stopping me. I'm looking like a titan. Mountains, mountains. I step up on the mountains. Hey. That was slick. Okay. In this sequence here, we see that there's a lot of lasers pointed at him. And I'm noticing his hat says overkill. That would be overkill. He has a lot of these guns pointed at him. And the laser sights are aimed at him for now, but he's not afraid. His hands are here. He's not intimidated. And that also goes in line with the message that they're delivering so far. And then they create this swiping motion, which is very cool. So they turn the lasers on us here. And as we see the guns turn, and the guns actually come in. Oh, this is very cool as they're dropping the lens out. But these guns then turn. We see this flash. <laughs> oh my goodness. This right here, this bright flash. We see the lightning come in the background, and we see a silhouette right here in this lens flare. And it sets up the next scene. But when they turn those lights on us, it's almost like they're turning a flashlight on us. Kind of like Dead by Daylight. When you're being chased by the killer, and you turn and you shine your flashlight in their eyes, they can't see for the moment. But then, once they regain their sight, you're gone. You're gone. So in the blink of an eye, things can change. And that I think that's an important part here, too, to point out, is that while they're talking about overcoming all these obstacles, it's also important to know that things in life can change in an instant, in the blink of an eye. And this flash, while it might cause us to close our eyes for a brief moment, suddenly we open our eyes and we wake up on the mountain. So we may be at the bottom of the mountain, and there is a lot of climbing over challenges and obstacles on our way to the top. But things can change, and in the blink of an eye, woke up on the mountains. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a bop. I love that he sped up the flow. He went double time here. So I, I really, 
enjoy what he was just saying to us. He has a newly written bucket list. And then to capture your goals on a list you set right in front of you, you have all of these goals that you want to achieve before you are gone. And then he talks about his will. Ignite the will, strong determination. So that right there, that message in the video is instilling the courage in the listeners too. It's telling us that we have the will and determination to achieve and reach all of these goals that we have on our bucket list. So while they're telling us that they have strong will and determination, we do as well. Never forget that. Now, the scene here, he is zooming around the room. He's teleporting. And it matches the speed of the flow, too, because as he speeds up, he just starts instant transmissioning like Goku. Here we go. Oh my god, he still had the Kool Aid burst in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, great visual. I love it. He, he's so focused that he doesn't need hands for the drink or anything. He's multitasking. Look at that. Look at this magician right now. He's a magician with the flow, but then he's also, boom, I'm over here. No, sorry. I'm over here now. And then we have this blur, this Gaussian blur. Woof, he's in our face. Oh my God. Pantheon. So a Pantheon. That also, this is a double here actually, because Pantheon, in terms of Greek mythology, is a grouping of all of the Greek gods. So Pantheon of the gods. And then Pantheon is also a Marvel Comics reference. And in their Chick Chick Boom video, we had Marvel characters, Wolverine and Deadpool. But Pantheon in Marvel Comics was a group and they teamed alongside the Incredible Hulk for a period of time. But the Pantheon had a hideout. Their headquarters was inside a mountain. And the video here is called Mountains. So the Pantheon hideout is actually called The Mount. But that is a very slick double he threw in there. An emphasis on that. That Pantheon. I Mm. So he's telling us right now that Stray Kids as an ensemble, the group, are like the it's a grouping of the gods. It's the the grouping of these powerful Marvel characters, these heroes, and they're here to save us. Oh my god, the hand of God reaching through the sky? Come on! The hand of God! Do it again. Come on! And the lightning striking down, Zeus's hand is back! Oh, it's, it looks like Gotham City right now almost. <laughs> You know, I, I'm wondering, I see a lot of these dark figures back here, and we see these red eyes, red representing evil, the, the, this, these evil figures are chasing them. But they're also blocking the mountain that is in the back here. And I see that after all of the music that I have dissected over the past years. There, there is a common theme among musicians, and that is haters. So I see these evil red-eyed beings back here that are blocking them from the mountain. 
as the haters. They're trying to stop stray kids from reaching the top of the mountain. They're trying to stop them from achieving the success that they have set out for. Guess what? Guess what? If you got in the way of those titans when they're doing the rumbling. Stomp, stomp! Good luck, haters! Mountains, mountains, I step up on the mountains! I love Felix's voice. He comes in there with that deep, rich tone, that ayo, ayo, and it breaks up the monotony of the track as well. Because before we were having that ayo, and it was a little bit higher, but then just when they have you in a trance, here comes Felix, ayo, ayo, ayo. I love that voice. So this shot here really captured my eye. And we see Felix enter from the bottom of the screen here. It's this top-down POV. And it almost has an illusion effect to it because at first it appears that it is upside down, but it's not. It's a top-down perspective. And we see Felix enter from the bottom of the screen as he is ascending the staircase. And this is a very important shot right here. Just this one particular shot fits the theme of the whole video. And that is showing you starting from the bottom and then climbing your way to the top, climbing these stairs, and they are ascending to greatness. Beautiful shot. We just watch him ascend again. <laughs> Oh, that was it? Oh, man, I was ready for more. <laughs> oh, I love that. That was a jam. You know, I, re I really enjoyed the message, too, because they didn't give in to the nightmares. It was the opposite of the nightmares. Their dreams became reality, and that was very important. And then we see them start at the bottom of that mountain, and now they're here. Started from the bottom, and now they're at the top. This, even right here, this ending shot is gorgeous because we look at this and we see them all surrounding one another. They're looking at that miniature city again, but they're all smiling. This is them looking back on where they came from. They started out very small, and then now we see them. They're, the, they're all the same size as Felix now because <laughs> Felix was a giant in the beginning. But now, they're all huge. Stray Kids is massive. And just looking back and remembering where you came from and being able to smile at the success that you've achieved. This is a great culmination of the video. And I love this beginning shot here too. In juxtaposition to the end. Because right here, they're actually... At the beginning, their main focus, all of them, are focused on their goal. And that is the mountain that they climb in the end and they get to the top. So that tells us that if we have goals that we want to achieve, we just set out on them and we accomplish them. And this instills that will. This was, I, I really enjoyed this. It, 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 it gets me pumped up. Like, if I'm working out, I could listen to this and it would get me amped up. And I feel like I'm being struck by lightning. But it's like an anthem. 
the mountains is an anthem you know it's thunderous and it helps us want to overcome challenges just like they do in the video and you know just keeping your eyes on the prize in life just as stray kids do here they become triumphant and so can you it's great i loved it i had a lot of fun with it i really am enjoying stray kids and I want to hear more. <laughs> so I thank you for being here. Much love to you. Let me know your thoughts on the video. And if you enjoyed my reaction and you want to see me do more Stray Kids and you like this video, make sure you leave a like on the video so I know. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Love, peace, chicken grease. It's your boy Snake Venomous to the V.